All right, verses 33 through 37. He says, make a tree good and its fruit will be good, or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad, for a tree is recognized by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. So now Jesus is explaining where these wild accusations from the Pharisees are actually coming from. He says that they say blasphemous things because that's what's in their hearts. I was talking to someone with, a while, with somebody a while back, and we were, we were talking about someone that we both knew, and they made the comment, this is what they said, sometimes they can say really hurtful things, but they're really a good person. What do you think Jesus would say about that, based on these verses? Huh? Hogwash. Yeah. Why? Because what comes out of the mouth is sore square. In the heart. In the heart. If you say really hurtful things, it reveals what your heart is. Right? Uh, I, now, I, I don't know if you get the daily devotions, but for the last few weeks, um, they've been reminding me of what we talked about concerning our words and our speech as we were going through the book of Proverbs. By the way, if you aren't getting those devotions and you want to, call the church office, let Cherie know, we'll make sure you start getting them. But it's just a reminder of the importance of the words that we speak. Listen to what Larry Chouinard says about verses 36 and 37. He says, since words are reflective of one's basic character, even careless words are not to be taken lightly because of what they can reveal about a person. A critical factor in God's ultimate evaluation of one's life involves the very words that one utters. Since words are both an insightful indicator of character and a powerful instrument to incite behavior patterns, it is critical that the Lord's disciples carefully weigh the worth and implication of every word spoken. Not most of your words. Not some of your words, right? But every Word needs to be handled with care. So, this is a rhetorical question. What does that mean? You don't have to answer out loud. We don't want you to answer out loud. Here's the question. Do the words you speak honor God and express love for others? 